What's going on, everybody? Hope y'all having a lovely Thursday. Well, I'm outside. I had to change all the cool packs on this motor here. It's a Honda 3.5 V6 J35. I just put a brand new coil on it about a month ago. Changed all the plugs. Thing says that a couple of them are misfiring. So I went ahead and ordered all the cool packs. Place them all. Figure out. Hopefully this will fix the problem. If not, maybe somebody out there that'll watch this video. Maybe you tell me what I'm missing. Because I ain't no mechanic. So I learn everything hands on. I don't read no books. I ain't got no damn attention like that. But I just like to do things with my hands. If I do it, then I learn it and I know how to do it. Some of y'all might be like that, some of you might not. But it might be kind of loud out here, the wind's blowing like hell today. But I got all the coils laid out, all the brand new ones. Look nice. I didn't think they were supposed to be here until Friday. I ordered them yesterday, they came in today. So, let's get at it. Change these things. See what happens. Right now, I'll start back there in the back. Take this stupid arm off here. I'll just flip it over. Yikes. This thing where you can see it. Yeah. I ain't got no automatic thing turned in. Yeah. Ain't no numbers on them. So it don't matter which one you put in there. I'll take them out. Swap them out. That's about all I can do. Hopefully, it'll stop there. The rough idling and the loss of power and everything, so <sighs> get aggravated. I wanted to throw the damn thing in the junkyard somewhere, but got too much money in it. Be trying to worry about that. And if you wonder, this motor is in. Saturn V 2006. Yeah. Some people don't even know that they got Honda motors in them. I didn't. Not till I got one. So, Honda motors, you can't really tear them up. Here's one of them. We're going to swap it out. A brand new one. Stuck in there. I know it was hell when I changed all the plugs. I just changed the plugs on about three days ago. So hopefully this will make it stop all what the hell is doing. If it don't maybe somebody can tell me what's going on because I'm tired of asking people around here where I live. They want to give you a bunch of run around or not tell you nothing. Does nobody want to help me? I thought it was supposed to be, you know, lend somebody a helping hand. I try to help anybody I can. But shit. Nobody wanted to. There's only far and few in between that want to help. I help anybody. If I see you trying to take advantage of me or use me, I'm done. I won't help no more. But it is what it is. That's why ain't but a few that I hang out with. And they don't do YouTube and all that mess. We just and I ain't working because it's daggone weather sucks 
ready to go back to work. So, give me time to do this, I reckon. Oh, there's one of them down. Get the next one. Hopefully it won't take too long. Get all six of these done. I done put a brand new oil pressure sensor on here. All kinds of mess done in this thing. Brand new alternator, brand new battery, plugs. We we're looking at mass airflow sensor stuff just in case but I know it ain't no crankshaft sensor I've replaced one in and deep I had this stupid plug up right here they don't try to make nothing easy for anybody to work on I can't afford no mechanic the one that I did he retired his son took over He had my car for two weeks. I'm supposed to check the oil pressure, everything. He didn't do shit. He tells me, you get a thing of Lucas, put it in there, it'll help. And you're supposed to be a mechanic. You're supposed to let me know. But hopefully, he get his things together. So, and nobody wants to build a motor or anything around here. Don't nobody want to do none of that. So, if I had to, I had to go up to my buddy's performance shop in Jacksonville. Go hit them up. Because all they work on is Hondas and stuff. So, so if this don't work, I got one other thing I got to check. Some kind of airflow thing. Make sure it works, but hopefully this will work. Dang on thing. I'd rather ride, ready to ride smooth. I'll be all worrying about the thing gonna cut out and acting crazy. Tell you what, y'all come down to Memorial City, North Carolina, Newport, North Carolina, Atlantic Beach, anywhere like that. And I tell you, don't come down here, be acting crazy in this. Cause the police ain't got nothing better to do than to lock your ass up, put you right over in Beaufort, the jail, and that's where you'll sit. You come down here on vacation you'll end up on probation or you get sent to prison ain't got nothing better to do except that i'm telling you from experience you don't want to go sit in the, in the uh, pottery county jail it ain't no damn place to be for nobody everybody talk about three hots in a cot shoot you ain't getting no cot it's so overcrowded you sleep on the floor on a mat it's about that thick ain't no pillows you had to make one of them or fold your mat over tie your sheet around it but it's the price of if you're doing wrong break the law you gotta pay the consequences that's the way it is I was raised up through the old old rules and stuff. They don't be down snitching on nobody. Don't be doing none of that craziness. You just you go to you go to jail, you go to prison, you get out. You either change what you're doing or you come back. They know who you are. They they be straight looking for you. Because every time it's a small town, everybody knows everybody, and they'll be right in your damn business, and you'll be locked right back up. I don't know why I ever came back here. Every daggone time. Come right back to this place. 
Go to prison. Get out. Come back. Go to prison. Get out. Come back. I finally stayed away about 10 years. And came back to my mama. My mama, she ain't here no more now. My birthday's coming up. She ain't been gone a year yet. I hate it. She went to the bar. Her parents went out. Been drinking. She fell, hit her head. Nobody take her to the damn hospital or nothing. Sit up with her. Just, just let her be out there in the, in the barn. Out there watching TV. She went to sleep. That was it. Left me, her husband, my kids, my grandbabies, their great grandkids. Left everything. It was it's hard. Hard to deal with sometimes. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta get through life. Life sucks sometimes. I hate it. Ever since. Because I'll tell you how it is, straight to the point. I don't beat around the bush. My kids know how I am. And I told my daughter, you know, her boyfriend, the kid's dad, they ain't worth a damn. She out there working. The boys want to stay home and watch the kids. I'm talking about that, that's a job. There ain't no damn job. There's plenty of mothers and fathers out there that take the kids, work, take care of them, everything else. Every day. I did it. My ex-wife was no good. My kid's mama, as soon as I was taken to go out of town to go to work, when I was on the road working, she found somebody else to lay up with. Because I didn't have no, my dad didn't want me when I was a kid. Even when I was a grown up, he wasn't worth a shit. So, I didn't want to leave my kids because I know my ex-wife would have had some other guys up in there in and out the house. Be like the damn doorknob. And I couldn't have that. Especially somebody come in there and touch one of my girls. No, it would not be a good ending for them. But I stayed until they were old enough to know what she was doing, what was going on. Yeah, that one right there. It's gonna look good. They knew what was going on. She had to go. I took care of them. Just like anybody should. Take care of your kids, do right. Be happy. Work. Then I was working two jobs. Just trying to take care of them, pay bills. And... Don't get me wrong, I've slipped up, messed up a whole lot. But I'm a man. I, if I messed up, I don't blame it on nobody. Blame on my damn self. I mean, the environment I grew up in, it was, it weren't good for really nobody. But I grew up with alcohol, and drugs, <clears throat> in and out the house, uncles, 
in and out of prison. First time I went to prison, I walked into prison. The guy said, I popped, right? I said, yeah. He said, you know Billy? I said, yeah. I said, that's my uncle. He said, all right, you're good people. Hadn't even been in there 10 minutes. But, it's the way the world, and this Carteret County. It's the way it goes. Just roll with it. And right here in Newport, it has got crazier and crazier over the past couple months. You used to never see any homeless people. And I can ride down the food line, which is like two minutes where I'm at right now. And I guarantee you there's people out there sitting <clears throat> in between the businesses against the wall, sitting on the bench, sitting out there on the corner somewhere, asking somebody for some money. I just don't see how people can do that. If I really know you need it, you ain't gonna go mess it up, which it ain't none of my business what you do with it, but I'm not gonna take and give nobody no money. You want something to eat? I I fix you something to eat, I'll buy you something to eat. But I don't think give nobody no money. My kids don't even ask me for money. You ask me and keep asking, asking. I'm not doing it. You don't ask me. I do. And I tried to start changing that because just you know, the way I was raised in this and being robbed and broke into and damn paranoia. Just all the hell I've been through. It take more time. I ain't got enough time in this day more or less a month to tell you of all the hell that I've been through this and that with everything just my life growing up just turning around from here to here just being raised in and out the bars shit which was a lot of fun some of it my mom, she, you know, they, she ran a couple bars and then my parents um, bought a bar. Had it for a little while out in Bogue, North Carolina. Back in the day, they had a bar in the Fireside. But my mama was an alcoholic and they just even made it worse. Her drinking. It was, you know, now, one thing about it, my grandpa, he drank almost every day, but he was out there working in that water, you know, taking care of everything he had to every day. I could never say I didn't never see him lay out from going out and getting drunk, or getting drunk at the house. That weren't him. Yeah. One of the funny things was when me and my me and girl got together, <laughs> I forgot to tell her. My mama calls after 9 o'clock at night. Don't answer that phone. You answer that phone. You ain't gonna be off that phone for about an hour or so. And you ain't gonna be able to understand what she said. Because she'd be tore up. And when she had throat cancer, she, she sounded like she had a frog in her throat. She had stage four throat cancer of the larynx. So, thank God she got, right before she passed away, she had a clean bill of health, started gaining weight back, everything. Everything was looking good. And then, they go out, she falls, hits her head, passed away. And the one bad thing I hate 
They did not do an autopsy. Nothing. And I weren't in the right mind to be asking about an autopsy and everything. And then I, later on, she got cremated. And then I got to thinking about it. Who told them not to do a damn autopsy? You know, it's like there's no closure in because it's who knows what she died from. Yes, yeah, she fell and hit her head, but who knows? Just nobody knows. Except, you know, the good Lord knows. That's where she went. She went home. To be with her mama and daddy. My man and papa. Be with all of them. But it's, it's still aggravating as hell. Nobody. They didn't do an autopsy. Nothing like that. But. Can't change it now. Ain't no changing that. I got this last one in here. Try to get the screw tightened down. Make sure they all smooth as a bug in a road. <laughs> Well, change them all. There's a lot of them that look bad. Man, that thing right there got oil shit on it. Damn. I think that one came out of the one, two, three, four. The number five. But you said that one was bad. So. I really hope this what fixes it. I still gotta check the air. Sorry about the noise I'm right here on the highway. Yeah. Looks like it could rain again. I don't know. I know that. My girl, she tied me buying tools. <laughs> I buy tools and watches and antiques. And that's why I like, it used to be alcohol and drugs is what I spent my money on. I care about other mess. You know, and then when I had kids, Stop all that playing around junk. Just did what I had to do to take care of them. But I fell off a couple times. I tell you, it, it's not good when, you, when your kids got to come to a prison to see. And did they have some kind of peace? Because they know you ain't in danger or nothing. Because they know that you're in a prison, but you're still in danger because you know with a lot of some violent people, drug addicts, alcoholics, just crazy people. And I've been to a lot of them, you know, whether you're staying there or passing through in North Carolina. I don't want to go back. I ain't been back in a long time. I really don't plan on it. But... Who knows what the future holds? You know, nobody is promised tomorrow. Nobody's promised the next minute, the second. But the only thing I can do is keep my head up, keep my ass out of trouble, go to work, do what I'm supposed to do. And hopefully my youngest daughter will come around and one day, I ain't talked to her so, since my mama died. That was last November. I've messaged her 
Try to talk to her. She don't want nothing to do with me right now. Cause uh, I told her how it is. I told her, cause her mama, she's a drug addict. Her and her boyfriend. Everybody knows, you can look at them. I mean, who in the hell in their right mind goes in Walmart and you in the self-checkout trying to scan stuff and put stuff right in your bag and don't scan it. And everything sees everything. All the new computers and sensors and stuff, yeah, they know what the hell is going on. Right. Crazy. Yeah, I'm not perfect. Nobody is. I got drug and gun charges. Oh my. Now the stupid shit. Driving. But damn if I'm gonna go in Walmart and change price tags and do that. No. The hell in your right mind doing that. But that being said, let's see what this thing does. I'm gonna fire it up. So I'm gonna put the tools back here. Back. Then I gotta get my stuff. Got some of my tools that this ain't even part of out right here. I fill the whole laundry room up. You got to have tools to work on stuff. It's better to buy it and do it yourself than paying somebody else. You don't know them, you can't trust them. The one guy, man, he was best mechanic I ain't never had a mechanic come to your house and check your stuff out nobody does that mess anymore but let's see what she does I got if I have to I'll put it on the meter again but let's start this thing up find the key key and here we go It started. Okay. She's running. She's not buying a new motor. Putting in here. See, I gotta check that sensor right there. It's one of the airflow sensors. I'm not sure if it's working right or what it's doing. But well, it's your boy Bubba. Till next time, y'all have a lovely day. Have a good week. Have a great weekend. Remember, all of your family, tell them you love them. Give your kids a hug. Tell them you love them. Nobody promised tomorrow. See y'all later. Bye.